So the Twitter announcement was made that the tech gods are the third highest owned unit in the game. Now, it makes sense when you consider a lot of things. One, every single anniversary will always have the couple previous anniversary units on it, right? So when every single YouTuber and every single friend of yours will probably tell you, you got to save for the anniversary, man. It has the best discounts. It's got the best tickets. It's got the best everything. Of course, you're going to want to save for it, especially because you just get so much free summons out of it. Like I said, you get the, the super multi discounts at the start. You get the three plus one, and then you also get three tickets every single multi summon. That adds up. And that means that obviously tech gods are going to be up there because everyone's just going to own them, right? Now, that being said, we also saw Tech Vegito on, I think it was like the fourth or the fifth pick. So I'm going to bring him too because I, I'm just starting the series of uh, showcasing like some of these most owned units. Uh, I'm not going to do MUI because he doesn't have it as easy A yet. But. Let's just go ahead and hop right into it, right? And I'm even going to use two tech gods just to kind of like uh, style on them. But anyways, the other thing I want to talk about too. Wow, that is like some horrible rotations. Next, next rotation. The other thing I want to talk about too is the fact that something to also remember is we are going to be getting easy A's for not only obviously the tech gods, but we're also going to be getting it for the Super Saiyan 4s as well. Because... And I will say that this is a really nice thing. The anniversaries have started easying in a consistent pattern during the anniversaries, right? So seventh years will be easying next celebration, or the, sorry, the next anniversary. The next anniversary after that will have eighth years. And honestly, that's kind of crazy to think about. Uh, I feel like like the, the eighth year is just released, but you know. But that's really nice because it means that like some of these better looking animations like the tech gods i feel like their animations are still holding up to this day for sure so it is it is nice like we're i'm showcasing this unit now and then in six months <laughs> six months and, and and around like seven months because it's gonna be in january we're gonna see the easy ace for these guys right and, and it's just gonna be it's gonna be really nice I, for sure it's gonna be really really nice uh let's go ahead and see the oh yeah and then like i said vegito is also going to be showcased just because he's again i think it was like the fifth or the fourth most owned unit i think i think it was fourth i think it was fourth i'm gonna be honest well uh, i'll ask you guys this question first what do you who do you think is the number one most owned unit in the game right now uh i guess number two if you want to answer that too i think personally it's either going to be a S tier Gogeta because they haven't done him yet, or it's going to be AJ Gohan, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, this is kind of really bad because, like I said, we just didn't get any of the rotations that we needed. Worst case scenario, we just hop right back in, or we can go uh, against the Boo who like has it where he just transforms and then has all the transformations, so we could just keep stacking and stacking and stacking. This sucks, and this is exactly why I um, said that we needed a slot one character. Like, hey, after super attack, he might be... F no, no, because they, they, they lowered our defense. Right, we got our defense lowered. Oh, wow, we actually got two supers as well. I, I mean, the good thing, too, is that because the anniversary equipment is just so powerful as well... Yeah, I, I knew it. We will. It, it's just... Yeah, there was, like, literally no way we were going to survive that. But it's just because we got terrible rotations. We have like multiple slot one units and we just didn't get any of them at the start. Um, the thing that is nice is like I said, we'll just look at it real quick. The anniversary equipment is just like some of the best equipment in the game. Level 8 defense. And then we have over here, we're not only are we getting uh, 400 defense, but we're also getting 6 crit. And then over here, we're getting 6 combo attack and then another 600 defense. Like, that's insane. It just makes it where they're just getting so much defense from this equipment and stacking so much faster. And again, we haven't even seen... Uh, why does this keep happening? We're not getting any slot on the first rotation. At least let us stack first, please. Um, It's going to create this situation where it's just like... 
we're gonna stack so fast, especially post EZA that there. I don't want to say like it's gonna be hard to mess up the, their EZA because it definitely is not that hard. But it won't. It won't be like insanely difficult. It's gonna be one of those days. Anyways, though, uh, I, like there's so much stuff that I, I do hope. It's just it's very aggravating. There, there is a lot of stuff that I do hope that we do get with the tech gods easy. A. I will say probably the number one thing on my list is just the extension of their guard. Uh, so obviously the tech gods and the Super Saiyan 4s gets the guard for just one turn. I feel like they either need to make that four turns or they need to just make it for the entirety of their quote unquote like intro buffs. Because uh, while it's not part of their intro, they do get um 77 attack for seven turns i feel like they can probably slide uh and just have it where they they just give them the guard for seven turns i don't think it's like that big of a uh a thing right especially because i i feel like you want to just give them the, that time to stack i would be fine with i would just be contempt with four right i'd be contempt with four dude i'm, I'm so tempted to use items at this point because it's literally just that we have to get past this the setting up the rotations part and then we're fine like we have the super saiyan boos we have physical god goku we have all these units who would be fine in slot one and we keep just getting the tech gods in this situation where i just die because <sighs> an sgr gogeta can be put in slot one tech vegeta blue can be put in slot one as soon as we have it where we can get the like dodge and the active skill but no we have to keep getting it where there's all right you know what I i'll for just the the sake of not making it where we're just looking at the ko screen the entire time let's go ahead and just use an item uh just to like kind of protect us for the the first turn because uh again we, we we just need to set up the rotations and it's just not allowing us to right i do want to transform with the tech gods so i'm going to actually float uh, them off here because I do not want to keep them untransformed on turn two. Oh, there's second appearance. This is fine. Like, God Goku can take that. As long as he dodges a super, I'm okay with it. And um, Normos will be able to tank after super attack. Because he just gets so much defense post super from both the stacking and then obviously the uh, passive skill. Ah, no additional super does suck, but... Uh, I mean, like... SCR Super Saiyan 3 Goku can probably tank this. He Obviously, he has a 70% dodge chance, so... Critting on the normal is kind of cringe, though. Don't... Oh, dude, I put them at slot 3. Why would you... <sighs> Don't do it. So that was the guaranteed super attack from getting the 20 key. Please don't. Please don't. Please. All right. Getting the third super is nice because it means that we're... As long as you don't get supered, probably tanking double digits. Because we do have the guard for this one turn. Did get three stacks in, I think. Well, okay, that's still scary. We're going to keep the rotations like this. Um, Who do I want to get? I mean, them getting 18 keys only increases their uh, defense by an additional 20%, so it doesn't really matter if we don't get the 18 key. So let's just get the, the tech gods their 24 key. This is the aim for getting tech gods 24 key. Yeah, that's fun. I didn't even mean to give them the 18 key, but they, that's really funny how their defense is super similar as well. Right, let's go ahead and do this. Remember that they also get type effective against all types once they get 24 key as well. So we'll be fine. And then next turn we'll basically have most of our rotation set up. I'll probably flow off um, the Super Saiyan Blues. Maybe. 
I think I'll fold off the Super Saiyan Blues. So we could have a slot one in each rotation. I'll hold on to the second Ghost Usher just in case, but I, I really don't want to just, you know, keep using items. Not a really good showcase if I have to continue using items to showcase the unit, but to be fair, this unit is two years old on JP and about to be two years old on Global. We're 30 days away from it. Hmm. I want to float off. I want to float off the Super Saiyan Blues. Actually, well, I'll just do this. I don't. We we could just have God Goku float off because he can't get the six orbs. If he was able to, we would have floated him off instead. We're gonna dodge. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I would dodge. Yeah, I would dodge. Yeah, I would dodge. Yeah, I. <sighs> oh. You know, maybe maybe that, that Twitter post that I saw that says Super Saiyan Blues are trash was right. <laughs> uh. Okay. Super Saiyan 3 Goku is going to do a huge attack stat, and I'm pretty sure a guaranteed crit here. No, non-guaranteed. Okay. I don't think we would die to normals. But we could just dodge. Yeah, we did double super. Our defense probably is enough to tank a normal. Just one normal attack, especially with 300k HP. Yeah, we're fun. Now we get to the fifth year fusions to go ahead and transform. We'll have Esther Gogeta and Tech Vegito Blue transforming here. Remember that the Tech Gods do not transform. Uh, or sorry, not not transform. They don't get any additional like link changes post transformation. So like we're not gonna see anything different here. Uh, once we do transform, I, I can go ahead and show that too. So you can see once we do turn into the Super Saiyan Blues, they will go ahead and just stay the same, right? We're going to go ahead and not transform with them either. So we can get a, hopefully a couple more stacks in uh, before we do go ahead and go to the next phase. There's a very high likelihood we, we are going to kill here. I don't see why not. But... We preferably want to have everyone super attack before we do kill, but we'll see. Because remember, we want Sergoji to get his key attack and defense up with his super attacks, and obviously get the 18 key to get his three turns of um, attack and defense. We want Tech Vegito Blue to get also his attack and defense up from just doing attacks, right? Just getting off. I, I want to at least get one super for both of them, but I don't. I don't think that's going to be likely. I think it's obviously better to prioritize the tech gods, though. Okay, that, that's fine. I mean, like Gogeta is now fully built up, so that's something. Let's go ahead and pop the um, Super Saiyan Three Goku active skill. We'll go ahead and see where the super attack is. And if we need to worry, or if I'll be fine. Because if, if, if... Would it? No, I wouldn't be. Okay, I was going to say if we put the tech gods in slot 1, and we got the 18 key, we would have been able to... um, To nullify the super, but it would have to be in slot 2. Go ahead and just see where the super attack is, though. <laughs> Oh, we can. We can. I mean, the thing is that, like, if we do that, the Super Saiyan Blues die, right? They have guard for this turn, but their defense is not enough to tank it. Because they, they're just... They, they suck. Here, let me just pull it up real, real quick. Um, uh, uh, It's the Dokkan... It's Dokkan Info that would have it. So let's see. Events challenge. 
Sorry, I just want to check this out real quick. All right, here we go. It's the Zamasu, or not Zamasu, the Majin Buu Red Zone. It's the second stage. The second stage is going to do uh, 520,000 attack. Um, yeah, I don't know if he would live that. The thing is that we're getting Super Saiyan 3 Goku support, right? Actually, no, best case scenario is that we... Well, the, the thing is that we need Dragon Fist to dodge, though. He can't... Like, he has a 90% chance to dodge if we don't... No, or if we don't counter the super. That's kind of... That's that's a that's a tough one. I guess, I guess let's put, just put Tech Gods and Salt up, too. That's a lot of damage, though. So remember that they're going to get a 30% chance to dodge. And then they'll get an additional 7% chance of critting. And then a, a dodging per rainbow key sphere, we got, we got one. So... <laughs> uh, it's going to be... It's going to be something. Okay, let's just, let's just do it. It's not over yet. Also, <laughs> I just realized. Uh, we have to have two dodges here. We have to have a 50% chance to dodge proc. And then we need the the 37% chance to proc. Which can, it can happen. Okay. Nah, tech gods. Breeze super tight. That's not bad, though. That was a 1.5 million super. We would have, we genuinely could have probably tanked that if we like, if we super attacked first. That, that <laughs> was not bad. That just sucks though, that we weren't able to dodge it. I mean, we, we didn't have a high chance, obviously. It was only a 37%. But yeah, um, I, I do think that unfortunately is it's just like a point I would say it's at the point of unusability now for these guys. But good news, it's not going to be forever. Like I said, it's seven months. I guess it, the easier will probably be in a part two of the celebration. So, so like yeah, in the, in the February area is when these guys will ease in and they'll they'll return as the kings. And I'm I'm really excited for that. But yeah, we'll go ahead and end there. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the tech gods and uh like i said what you guys think is going to be the easy a for or not what the easy a is going to be what do you think the number one and number two unit is going to be the of uh, like the highest owned unit in the game uh but yeah i'll, I'll go ahead and close out hope you guys all have a great week hope to see you guys in the next one peace